before we start to talk about jump rope and double unders, what we want to kind of quickly address is the length of the rope. For the most part, you want to be able to step into this guy and have it be about mid-chest. There can be a little play in here. Uh, more often than not, I would actually recommend that you could probably go a little bit shorter than you think. Chances are you're holding the rope in a way that makes it uh, seem shorter than it is. So find something around this area. So whether you're uh, just starting the double unders or it's something you've been trying for a while, uh, there's a few kind of tips and tricks that we have for getting people uh, going doing double unders. The first thing you're gonna wanna work on, and I really recommend spending some time on this, is just getting your single under down. So we're gonna work on that real quick. What I wanna do when I, when I jump is I wanna have my arms in tight and in front of me. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna keep the front of that rope as it comes down away from my toes. By keeping my hands tucked in close, I'm gonna make sure that rope is as long as it can be. If I end up kinda of wide, now here you can even see that rope starts to come further up my legs. So I'd have to jump higher and higher. So, what we wanna do is just start off nice and easy, bouncing off the ball of the foot, not kicking our feet back, anything like that. Nice, easy pace. And you can see what I'm doing with my hands here, I'm just doing little, tiny circles I'm not articulating through the elbow okay you might be able to do singles like this but when we get to the double and you need that faster spin your elbow is not going to go fast enough so little circles with the wrists if you're having trouble with this spend time just doing singles if you have this down and you feel confident then we can start working on the double under the main point I want to make when you're trying to work on the double under is consistency with your jump so I'm going to start with my singles again and now I'm going to kind of make this jump a little bit bigger, a little bit more floaty. I'm not going faster, notice that. Bigger jump. This is the jump that you use for your double. Nothing changes or very little will change between that and the double under. What's changing is just this kind of double time tap of the rope. So this is going to get the rope to go faster but I'm not increasing the speed or the frequency of my jumps. And that's what we wanna try and do. We wanna go single, single, double. Single, single, double. And the idea is I'm not really changing much about how I jump. This way, when you start to work on your double unders, the jumps just kinda of stay consistent, stay the same the entire time. Once you get one, and you can go back to your singles and you can do that repeatedly, then we do two. So same idea. Nice big singles and double, double. Double, double. As you get better, you can start to connect these. Notice how I didn't start going faster and faster with the rope. What I was doing was finding kind of this rhythm. I jump, I speed that rope up so it travels twice around me. I land, that rope slows down a little bit, gives me time to jump again, and I jump or double tap that rope again. Take your time on this. My advice is as soon as it gets frustrating, put it down, go do something else, right? When you're mad and angry and you're just hacking away at it, you're not gonna get it. This took me a few months to really get down comfortably, so be patient, but have some fun. Another thing we want to address real quick is uh, kind of faults in the jump. Uh, this usually shows up when we start working on the double. Uh, the big issue we see is that people will start with a nice jump on their single and then when it comes to the double they'll bend the knees, either kick the heels back or tuck the knees forward and they land kind of flat footed with their knees bent. This is going to make that next jump significantly harder. And if you do that again, you're going to land even lower. So chances are, if you're kind of only getting one or two doubles in a row and you notice that you're kicking up, this is what's going wrong. What I'm trying to do is jump and almost point my toes maybe an inch or two in front of me into a hollowed position. So chest is up and open. I'm looking forward, point my toes, point, point, point. And then same thing when I go to my double. So, same jump, just jumping a little bit higher, but I'm not changing how I do that jump. All right, guys, I hope that helps you.